you are a Pixel owner, I highly suggest you try out the beta program that Google has for their devices, for their Pixel devices. I have the Google Pixel 7 Pro and it is currently downloading the newest update. The newest update is QPR3 Beta 2. QPR3 Beta 1 just came out, I would say probably two, yeah, about two weeks ago, almost three, probably two weeks ago. Um, but I highly, su I highly suggest that you download their beta and give it a try. I normally don't suggest uh, other people downloading beta software, future software, just because of the bugs. In the past, I used to be an avid flasher. Uh, if those of you that remember XDA developer uh, website, um, man, I was flashing a new ROM. It seemed like shoot probably I wanna, I'm not gonna say every day but at least twice a week I would flash if not a new ROM a, an update or a kernel or the latest uh, gcam app um, you know just I would just be flashing away the zips um, but check this out the the reason why I am suggesting that you try it is because there's really no bugs like um, I have experienced one bug, but it wasn't like a to the main frame or the um, OS. It was just an app, um, an app crash. It was like an Amazon app crash, but I haven't had any issues with Amazon since. Uh, it's weird, but uh, it, that's beta. Um, but the, previously... Um, as of a few years ago, I stopped flashing ROMs, um, but I love Google's beta program because it's not so new to where you're going to be having a bunch of apps crashing. Uh, and the other thing was like with banking apps, there's no issues because I would not, I would hesitate flashing. Uh, well, back in the day, I flashed away, but as of recently, these last couple of years, because when I did XDA, that was like, we're talking 10 years ago, maybe more or not more, but probably eight to 10 years ago you know let's just say five to ten years ago and then and then i would just flash away and then and probably more recently from one to five years i stopped doing that but would hesitate doing any beta software because of like um, app crashes like i was talking about maybe you know especially with banking apps and stuff like that uh, uh apps that you couldn't afford to go without i have not experienced any issues besides that amazon thing but no main software or operating system issues. The new beta, um, this these new betas that Google is putting out to where you can test their upcoming software have been phenomenal. The battery life, I can tell, is a little better. Uh, and it, and the, the device already had really, really good battery life. And now I can tell it's even better. The changes that are coming up and, and that's why I really haven't done a whole lot of videos on uh, the software experience with this Pixel, with the beta, is because I haven't noticed anything um, different. I mean, it's just running like normal. So there's not like any super new or super cool features that's in the beta. It basically looks and operates as the stock firmware with a few under the hood changes. Now, the with this new QPR3 Beta 2 that was released today, from what I was reading in the release notes, it's basically they the major change. It's got a lot of bug fixes, they say. Battery enhancements, which is nice. But the main thing that they were pointing out is it has a new adaptive charging feature. Apparently, the device is going to recognize more of how to how and when to use the power from your charger to uh, power to uh, power the device and or charge the battery. It's going to be able to tell 
obviously if it's in the middle of the day and it knows it's up and moving around because it has sensors it's going to be using these sensors they said more in the device so if you're in the in the middle of the day and let's say you plug your phone in uh, let's say you get home you're on a lunch break and you get home on a lunch break and you plug your phone in because you forgot to plug it a uh, charge it the previous night it's gonna know that uh, it's in the middle of the day and you're probably going to need um, a charging or a, and or a, a full battery as quick as possible so because during the day people are doing things and you need it to charge super fast so you can unplug it and get on uh, with your activities so it'll charge it super fast uh, when it needs to if you charge it in at night it knows when you're sleeping uh, so it'll probably, you know, take its time charging. Um, now you can turn all this off in the settings. If, if you want it to charge as fast as possible, um, uh, all the time, whenever you plug it in, you can do that. Um, now, obviously the faster you charge, if you, if you turn adaptive charging off, it's going to charge the battery as fast as possible whenever you plug it in. Now, that degrades the battery a little bit over time but I don't care about that because I don't have my devices for four or five years that it only matters when the device and or the battery is like four or five years old that's about how long a, uh, a lithium ion battery can last without seeing a major uh, degradation in the battery health now after you know one or two years is the battery health going to be probably like 92 percent of what it was at 100 percent brand new probably but you it's not really enough to tell now when you get four or five years that's when you're going to be able to tell and if you want to hang on to it longer you're going to probably going to need to change the battery and they you know they do that on purpose they know the average lifespan of a device is probably two two to three years uh, per per person so um, they could make them last longer but you know whatever it is what it is but um, I would definitely recommend you trying this out I love it um, you get updates faster I've always want the new stuff new 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 I want new updates ASAP I want to test the software I want to have stuff uh, software and hardware that nobody else has or that very few people have that's just me. I don't know. It's just the person I am. But um, uh, go down to the description box. I will put a link to where you can sign up if you have a Pixel. They made it with la with this QPR3 Beta 1, which was released like three weeks ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. They fixed their beta program as far as the um, signing up and getting out was a hassle in the past because if you didn't know before three weeks ago it was a huge headache they make it really easy to sign up for the beta but then when you when you want to leave the program you had to factory reset your device meaning wipe it so if you want to try it out you know there's some bugs or there's a fatal flaw bug um that you just can't stand and you're like, yeah, I want to go back to the stock firmware. You'd have to wipe your device. I mean, it was the biggest headache. I mean, it was one of my major complaints. And I know I haven't had this channel that long, or I started this channel that long, but uh, trust me, I would have made tons of videos about that because it bugged me to no end. And now they fixed it. Now you can sign up for the beta and you automatically get a update notice. Um, Literally, with less than a minute, you'll say it'll say, "Hey, you have an update," and you can get it going. And if you want to leave the beta program, you can leave it without wiping your device. So um, it's 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 awesome. They've really come a long way. There's I love. I was not a fan of Android 12 last year. It was all right, but that's why I like this Pixel 7 s series so much because they refined the 6 was was a cool phone but they refined it the hardware on the from the 6 to the 7 so now it looks awesome 
and they refined the software of the device because I it was just the look the feel you know I don't know it's kind of, it's hard to explain it's just preference um, and then but with iPhone uh, with Android 13 they totally tweak stuff that I that I needed tweaking and it's awesome that's why I love this phone so much and I can't wait to see the pixel 8 what they have in store and if you want to get Android 14 before anybody they're gonna release Android 14 beta I think in April which is what in a month or yeah yeah it's next month or that yeah, sounds about right I'll put it down I can't remember what I what I read I'll uh, I'll go back and make sure all the details in the description box is correct so I don't give you false information but um Android 14 is right around the corner if you want Android 14 sign up for this beta and get it downloaded I promise you now it's just my experience I haven't since I had that bug with Amazon that Amazon app I haven't experienced anything I mean it's it's no nah, there's probably you know probably a crash or two under the hood meaning like little things in the background but don't affect the usability of it um, but when I say it's it's almost it's a definitely a daily driver as far as a software no I'm telling you no bugs minus that one Amazon crash nothing so I absolutely love it battery life's great um, so I if you're hesitant I understand but don't be uh, I definitely give it my approval uh, download it try it I've been on their beta for since it was available on this phone and I've been on the beta for a long time with the previous device so um, check it out it's available right now go to your settings app well here's what you do you're gonna touch the you're gonna hit the link in the video description it's gonna take you to the Google developers website you're gonna say yes I want to download it you're gonna click a few buttons excuse me you're gonna choose the device that you want to it'll know what devices you're signed in on on pixels obviously it won't work with a Samsung it won't work with um, a Motorola phone this is just pixel Google pixel devices I think you can do it for all of them like if you have a pixel 5 I think down to 4a it's available I think but I know if you got the five, you can do it, and you can do the same link. You don't have to go to a certain website. Select the link in the de in my description. It'll automatically know what device you're signed in on. Now, if you have more than one Pixel device, now it won't give you Samsung. It'll only give you the devices it qual you qualify for to sign up for the beta. So if you have a pic if you have a Pixel and a Samsung, which I'm recording on, when you hit this link even though I'm both signed in it's just going to show the pixel because this is the beta program for the pixel but if you have multiple pixels like I do you just choose the device you want to enroll you hit okay 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 and then you select you know go and then you know 30 seconds you'll get a notification uh, that you have an update and if you don't get a notification after you sign up for it give it a minute or two and then go to your settings app and then scroll down to settings system and then system update and you'll see it'll look just like this right here maybe backwards but system update right there and there you go it'll it'll install it so uh, this is it says this update will will install a beta version of Android 13 quarterly platform release QPR T3 B2 dot 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 whatever on your device. This pre-release version may contain errors and defects that can affect normal functioning of your device. Um, it says if you're currently running a public stable version of Android 13. Like, like most everybody with a pixel you can opt out of the beta program before applying this update without wiping your device it says if you choose to opt out after installing this update or any future beta updates 
Um, uh, see, per guy, whatever. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways. All right. So yeah, they give you a link right here. So I'm gonna um, I'll put this in the description, and um, so here's their developer website with that link. It takes you, tells you all about it. it gives you the, um, sorry. It, it, developer website tells you all about the program the bugs the history the what's previously enrolled devices it, it explains everything how do i participate before you enroll it'll get they have an official reddit page android beta program reddit community so if you have a reddit um uh account or even if you don't um that's where their official reddit uh thread for the beta program is got a bunch of cool info so and oh look Oh, I don't know. Never mind. It's personal. But, okay. So, that's it. So, if you're hesitant, don't be. Give it a try. If you, Even if you don't like it, you can uh, you can skip out on it. But, trust me, you're going to like it. If you like Pixel, you're going to want to be on the beta program. Uh, it's phenomenal. And, um, big props to Google. So, check it out, guys. Peace.